This scene looks strange, right? But this is a real excavator jumping forward, not an image from a science fiction movie. This excavator is 40 meters high and weighs 5,600 tons. It can dig up to 4,400 cubic meters of earth per hour. This is the Checkmater K5000 crawler excavator. And when we say big, it is really big. What is special is the way this excavator moves is quite different. Underneath it is a giant disc, inside of which is a hydraulic movement system. When the machine moves from the inside perspective, it looks like it is walking. Its operating principle can be understood simply as follows. The hydraulic system pushes the entire excavator and casing up, moving forward a little. Then the system will pull the casing out, land to support the excavator, then push again, and the excavator continues to move forward. This process is repeated, making the excavator move forward little by little. This way of moving is somewhat similar to the principle of the movement of a non-nearsighted eye. If there is anything wrong, please correct it. However, the speed of the machine is very slow, only a few meters per hour. From a distance, the movement of the machine is like a giant moving castle, very spectacular. Because the machine is so large, it requires six people to operate, each person in charge of a different task. In addition to the pilot, there are also coordinators and conveyor supervisors. So why not use crawlers to move? Although crawlers are convenient to move, with the huge weight of the machine, if it stops in one place for a long time to dig, the machine may sink into the ground. On the contrary, the giant round base of the machine creates a large enough bearing area, just like lying on the ground, helping the machine avoid the risk of getting stuck. As the excavator digs, the buckets on the chains dig from the bottom to the surface, then dump the soil onto the conveyor belt, allowing for continuous and steady excavation. This is truly an assembly line operation. This machine has been in production since 1983 and has undergone three repairs. Although its performance is amazing, its maintenance costs and fuel consumption are also unbelievable.